Uh, what program is best and why is it Blender? Uh, I like, I like the, <laughs> I liked it, but I thought actually uh, this is a good question about. Uh, lots of people ask, uh, what software should I learn? Uh, uh, what's the best software? And uh, what, what do you think, Rick, uh, about this software question? What should, how should we answer that? Yeah, it's pretty deep, isn't it? So if someone's asking from a three D artist perspective. Um, what software like you've you've used blender a lot. Yeah, you're, you're a blender guy You know as being a blender guy, but I would hazard a guess that if someone said oh we use 3d studio max in our studio We use Maya that given a very short amount of time You would be a ninja in those software packages as well because I think being good in software is partially where's the button and where's the tool and how do I get a quick workflow? but it's also how do I express my creativity? How do I work? How do I get a good workflow where I can create something and be efficient? How can I have templates that I can work from those templates? Um, you know, how, how can I be professional and disciplined? So I don't think the software matters as much as your general skill set. that if someone um, wants to be great at being a character artist, that you just learn how to be a character artist. You, you learn how to, um, you know how to place the pixels and the and the faces and to move things around in a way that it unwraps nicely or that it textures nicely or that it that animates without creases in the arm like they're the things that you're going to learn irrespective of the software um, when you're starting out i love the idea of working in free software so if it's got good functionality blender is just brilliant it's got so much functionality and it's free and they're not knocking on your door after you make a few dollars and saying hey you've it's time to pay the ferry man uh, so it's it, Blender's great from that point of view. Um, you know, I use photo. I know you use Photoshop as well. I'm an Adobe guy, but I resent the fact that they now make me pay a subscription. I hate it. It's like I used to buy Photoshop. Boop, there it is, and I've bought it. Great. I'm happy with that. I'm happy I paid a bunch of money and got some good software. But now they're like, you're gonna pay us every single month, and we're gonna update your software all the time, so that if you're using that version and your friend that you're working with has updated it then you can't work on the same file together unless you update as well. It's like, ah, Adobe, I know what you're doing here. But Photoshop's a great, I've learned it, I know it, I'm, you know, that's what I'm proficient at, so I keep using it. But I would jump to something else in a heartbeat if it was as good as Photoshop, and I knew it as well. There's, I've just started, people are gonna write in the comments, Rick, there's a bunch of things as good as Photoshop, you idiot, there's this and that and that and that. I, I know, I know, but it's just me, I like working with what I'm familiar with, but, if I had to make a switch, it'd be pretty quick, I think, to, to switch to something else. If we're talking about game development, use an engine for the love of everything. Like Unity, Unreal, Godot, it doesn't matter. Use an engine. Don't try to make the stuff yourself unless you just, you know, you're a hobbyist and you want to make your own engine. But um, yeah, I think learn one thing, get good at it, and just stick with it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, recently, my Adobe subscription. Uh, uh, ended uh, mm. so I thought you know what I I'm gonna try and take on free software oh. but it, because uh, <laughs> but unfortunately it's just the time it takes to learn that new software yeah. uh, is stopping me from doing it but um, I did actually go from Photoshop to GIMP oh. uh, and I'm, I'm using GIMP now for my titles uh, instead of Photoshop and I've just got an Adobe Premiere license because it would just take too long for me to yeah. pick up DaVinci so yeah. Uh, DaVinci Resolve is if you want to go free for video editing. GIMP if you want to do uh, Photoshop, but uh, do it for free. Critter if you want a drawing program. I use Critter all the time. Yep. Uh, and uh, Blender uh, is, is, as this person says, it is the best. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, it, but it is that case of uh, it's not really about um, learning the programs and it becomes less and less that uh, it's about learning the skills mm. uh, that will jump from program to program. And, that uh, some of these free programs can be a bit annoying. Blender was annoying in the past that it had like right click to select um, was really awkward and it was not transferable. But nowadays Blender is becoming much more transferable in terms of skill level. You can go across to something like Maya yeah. uh, without too much problem. Obviously you've got to find out where all the buttons are and there's <laughs> nuances in each program. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it is important to get the skills and not worry about uh, the tech. And in fact, you'll find that people who can use the program really well, uh, but aren't very good artists, uh, they'll, they'll actually become more obsolete quickly as yeah. the programs become easier and easier to use. Because the people who create the programs 
want more people to use them. So they try and make them as easy as possible for someone who's got artistic skill to come in mm. and just say, I want this, this and this. And they've got their creative idea. So the more tech skills you have and you think, oh, I'm brilliant at this program, uh, that's actually going to diminish and you're, it's going to be about your creative and artistic skills that's more important. Um, so it's important to bear those things in mind and not worry too much about what program do I need to learn on.